he doing? Getting ready to go to work. I'll tell you something. I just need to know how to explain it. What time is it? Yeah, I feels later. I can't rely on how it feels, Terry. You have to be smart. Stick to the plan. Now he's getting ready to watch the morning talk show. I've been in many different relationships, but I've never felt... So we have seven minutes. Maybe he won't even come down. He always comes down before work. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Chris is gonna get mad. He's gonna come down and beat us. Minna, shut up. I hope this sicko gets sepsis. We just have to stick to the plan. What's that? Three underlying causes you should always look for with her. Number two, social conflict, poverty, and finally, intimate conflict. Domestic violence, physical abuse, sexual harassment, etc., etc. Now, most survivors will have complex trauma, so each one's stress profile will be unique. That is why it is so important to deeply examine the source of the trauma. Only when we understand what exactly has happened to a person, can we begin to understand why they behave the way they do? Max, you ready? Uh, Max, since Ella has abandoned us, has agreed to fill in as my GA. He is going to pass out your midterms. Some of you are going to be disappointed. Yes, Gibson. This is... But uh, please be advised that a bruised ego will not be considered a medically excused absence. <laughs> you have any questions about your assignments, your grades, ask Max. If you have any questions about your unrequited crush on Ella, I'm afraid you're on your own. Have a nice day, everyone. Hag Haggerty? Dakota, right? Is there more than one? Just an unusual name, that's all. There you go. Dr. Campbell? Hey, Dakota. Can I talk to you? Yeah, I have some office. We had intro to Feminist Lit together. Oh, hi. I was surprised you're not in the advanced level. We were reading Joanna Russ's How to Suppress Women's Writing and a Female Man. Crazy. Yeah, I was uh, carrying too many hours a semester. I might take it next year. So I, I wanted to ask you something, but you never stuck around after class. Are you from Illinois? Look, I read all the coverage, the rescue, the trial. That's why I became a journalist. I mean, after all, how many Dakota Haggerty's can there be in? I'm not her. You were the only one who didn't testify at the trial. You've got a completely untold story, and I think people would find it inspiring. Where you are, what you've overcome. Look, I don't know what you're talking about, but whoever you're looking for, it isn't me. Just leave me alone. Oh, hi, Dakota. Come on in. 
Oh, no, um, I, I get warm in small spaces. Oh, OK. I would see. So I assume you want to talk about your midterm. Well, I was just wondering if there was any kind of extra credit I could earn. Now I understand why you want the door open. Well, you signed up for my advanced psychology of trauma class without completing any of the prerequisites, so I'm not surprised you're struggling. I know I bombed the midterm, but I can do better if you just give me a chance. I'm willing to put the work in. I can't quite figure you out, Dakota, because on the one hand, you clearly lack the foundation and the basics of the subject matter and the research methodology. On the other hand, you have this incredible insight into the deviant mind. Lacking, then why did you approve my admission to the class? Colleagues said I'd find you interesting. He's right about that. I just need to pass this class. My job is on campus, and I need to keep my GPA up to keep it. Well, there are tutors. Uh, you could find a study buddy. Gibson is obnoxious, but he's also acing the class. <laughs> All right. You and I could meet. My whole office hours at O'Shea's bar on Friday evenings. A little less intimidating than an office. I'll study harder. Thanks, Dr. Campbell. Dakota, are you sure you're okay? So it would really be in your best interest to let me and the other faculty know about them. That way we can make exceptions for you if you need them. And get you any help you might need. I don't need special treatment. Most trauma survivors are torn between rejecting their experience and recreating it. This is because the brain naturally adapts to its circumstances, no matter how horrible those circumstances might be. Uh, this is one of the reasons why soldiers often request to go back to combat situations. It's the place where their adaptation makes the most sense to them, right? Uh, but breaking that cycle, staging that intervention, is the key to moving past trauma. Uh, sadly, Many people never get there, and many people die trying. 
On that happy note, I'll see you all next week. Thank you. Yo, Campbell was really laying it on thick today. Stuck in his class? Of course, there's no sense in spooking the normies, right? <laughs> I'm Max, by the way. Yeah, I know. I was in class, remember? Yeah. Hey, maybe you can answer something for me. Yeah. Professor Campbell, is he usually... Overly friendly professor vibes? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, he's young for a professor. He's funny. He's good-looking for... a for... professor. Yeah, I get it. It's so not like that, though. I mean, not for me. You don't think that'll affect my grade, do you? No. You? Honestly, he just likes to flirt with all the pretty girls. Unless you're thinking about taking him up oh, on no, it. Oh, no, no. Oh, he's all right. But... For a professor. Yeah, but no. Besides, it's not like my grade could get much worse. I guess I'm not... That I've been dealing with, or feeling to deal with, I guess. And now there's this person who keeps bringing all that stuff back up that I'd really rather forget. I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm telling you all this. I no. just think I'm a friend. Relax. Uh, seriously, though, if you actually ever do need help inside a class or outside of it, let me know. Hit me up. You never know. Maybe I will. Duty calls? Uh, yeah, I gotta get back to work. Okay. Thanks for the pep talk, Max. Yeah, anytime. You're done. I was off last semester, and now I'm back. Did you just start? But you've basically been following me. I mean, class, the quad, now where I work? I told you I don't want to talk about it, so can't you just leave me alone? Look, if I freaked you out the other day, I'm sorry. I'm not always great at social stuff. I just want to be friends. Everybody needs friends, right? Jose? Good. You're back. Go down to the supply closet and get this stuff. I'm on hold with interlibrary loan. In the basement? Yep, that's the one. We're trying to track down a copy of the Berlin Code. the door accidentally. I didn't even close it. Uh, she couldn't have locked it. How do you know that? Because, well, truthfully, 
wasn't logged when Adi and I arrived. Hey, I'm not making this up. Someone, someone's trying to... To do what? I'm telling you, someone was there. Someone is doing this on purpose. Like who? Addie, maybe? She's been following me around, giving me the creeps. Addie was with... Somebody's pulling a harmless prank. Either way, you're fine. It's the important thing. So that's it? You're just gonna forget about this? I can file a non-criminal incident report if it'll make you feel better. <laughs> Dakota, are you okay? What, what they say? Dakota Haggerty. Yeah, um, I, I was just wondering, um, is he, uh, is he still in prison? He is. Okay. Okay, um, uh, then have you heard from Terry or Minda? Or has he gotten any, uh, visitors or phone calls that, it, privacy laws? His privacy, seriously? Yeah, no, I am. Um, I understand. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Trauma, but not admit to any traumatic experience. You can tell me why that might be. Dakota. Uh, be because, um, because she, uh, the patient may not have begun to process the trauma yet? Or because peer-reviewed studies of my girlfriend show that four out of five women are completely nuts. You are a sad <laughs> and pathetic excuse for a human being, Gibson. And if you weren't so obviously terrified of women, I might even think it was funny. Thank you, Dakota. <laughs> uh, well, you're half right, just not about Gibson. Uh, to admit to the trauma is to begin Processing it. Without a walk eater car, right? And your boy Gibson might be lurking in the bushes, plotting his revenge. Man, I really lost it. Kind of proved his point for him. Oh, don't worry about it. There's honestly a new crop of guys like him every year, and they grow out of it. You know, maybe. <laughs> well, Campbell thinks I need a tutor, and believe it or not, he actually suggested Gibson. Really? He's a smart guy, but he's kind of a horrible judge of character, so. <laughs> yeah, but I need somebody. Hmm. Um, that's somebody you can trust. It's kind of too bad Ella flaked out, but, um... I'd say, are you around Friday morning? I got a couple hours I can kill. Why don't you meet me and we'll do it then? Are you sure? Yeah. You gotta ace the class, right? Plus, you gotta piss Gibson off.
Thanks for coming, Terry. It's really good to see you. Cynthia. What? It's Cynthia now. Say that other name again and I walk. Okay, got it. <laughs> you definitely look different. I mean, you look great, just different. You want to come in? I figured I owed you that. So I'm in college, finally. Good for you. Do you talk to Minda at all these days? I couldn't find her. Nope. But if you finally track her down, forget you ever saw me. Well, this is my place. Not much to see. There's a lot of windows. Yeah, I know. I can't get enough light. Yeah, me too. So, how's your family? It's pretty much just me now. My dad died when I was, uh, dirty. Yeah. So what's your life like these days? Normal. All those years in that basement, I used to dream about doing all the normal stuff. Now that I'm actually doing some of those things, it's not fixing anything. I mean, I was in therapy, but therapy? God, that's the last thing I'd want. To dredge up that garbage and relive it. I changed my name, became somebody else. Somebody who was never even in that basement. You should do the same. I don't think I could just erase my past. Well, then it's going to consume you for the rest of your life. You want some advice? Don't try to make up a life you could have had. Does your fiance know? No, nobody from my new life knows and that's how I want it. So don't expect a wedding invitation. What is it that you want, Dakota? I wanted to ask you if anything weird or unsettling had happened to you lately. Yeah, you found me. I mean, has anybody been harassing you, stalking you? Leaving you weird things? What are you talking about? I think someone's stalking me and that maybe Kurt put him up to it. Who could be talking to Kurt? He's locked up in a cell. You're the only... No. Do you know how many crazies came out of the woodwork? Guys who thought that Kurt Weber was some kind of hero? And now you're leading those crazy SOBs right back to me? I knew coming here was a mistake. Don't contact me again. Ever. You're gonna have to wait till he gets out of his intramural lacrosse game. Excuse me, match. What are you doing? A friend sent me a bottle of that experimental nail polish. God, what a weird sentence. You know, that those guys made to detect date rape drugs. So I'm running a less than clinical trial. Does it work? Hard to say. There are at least 10 different drugs out there and how's one thing gonna detect them all? So I'm skeptical. So it's supposed to be that color? Not exactly subtle on a date. Look, I know I haven't exactly been friendly, but what happened to me, it's the kind of thing that makes you weird with people. But then why are you here? Because I need a favor from someone who isn't afraid to ask rude questions. So naturally, you thought of me. I'm trying to get Kurt Weber's prison logs. Isn't there something that reporters can do to get that kind of stuff? Prison's publicly funded. Those should be public records. You think Weber had something to do with what happened yesterday? I don't know. I mean, he's still locked up, but 
could be pulling the strings. I mean, control's always a big thing for guys like that. Yeah, that checks out. Somebody's stalking me, and I really need to know who it is. Well, I need a good story. Or else I'm gonna be stuck covering alumni meet and greets until I graduate or I die. Whichever comes first. Well, somebody's stalking girls on campus. Kind of a relief to have at least one person I'm not hiding it from. You're 21. Wait, aren't these drugged? Nah, control group. Making sure the liquor wasn't making it react. Oh. Yeah, not a fan of shots. Uh, beer? I think this is the first time I've been out since the semester started. One thing I don't know is how you live without a car. I mean, you seriously don't drive. I jump at everything. You do not want me on the road. <laughs> hey, Trey, two IPAs? Thank you, sir. This book I was telling you about, you have to read it. It's about these three badass women, all right? All right. But isn't the professor with the pants? What do you mean? Before he came to teach here, he's involved in this massive court case. We tried to do a story on it, but the records were sealed. What kind of a court case? It's me. The source who tipped us off said it was sexual improprieties, which could mean almost anything, so. You know, his grad assistant, Ella, just stopped showing up to class. Everyone thought they were dating. She just dropped out out of nowhere. No one's heard from her since. Hey, you want to order anything? Call me. Coda. Shouldn't you be studying? It's a um, free country, right? That it is. That it is. Enjoy it while you can, Miss Haggerty. Gave me a heart attack. What are you doing in here? Someone, uh, Kurt Weber's basement. He kept VHS tapes of all of us. Sorry, I didn't mean to. I mean, you didn't know that, though, right? It was never in the news. No. Then how could whoever did it know, unless Kurt told them? Have you watched it? No, how could I? Jose is old school. He never wants to let a format grow.
have to take this to the cops. After that horror show, you're probably not going to be too thrilled about my most recent developments. What is it? To Weber's prison visitor logs. And his phone list. Oh, that's great. When can they get here? That's the bad news. We have to go get them ourselves. What? They aren't exactly in a rush to join the 21st century up there, so nothing's digitized. And they won't use state resources to do a journalist job for them. That's a quote charming people. Hey, it's no big deal. They're on one side of the bars, you're on the other. I did a job shadow at Danville Correctional when I was in high school. Totally safe. Scary, but definitely safe. No, you don't understand. I'm gonna be locked up in there with him. I'll go. No, you don't know what he's like. He can manipulate anything. You could just drop it. Let it go. It's totally up to you. It's totally your call. Hey, I was starting to think you weren't coming. Oh, no, I just, um, some stuff came up. You seem like... What? <laughs> nothing, just edgy. I just worried about you. Do you ever feel like someone's deliberately trying to drive you nuts? You're giving Gibson way too much credit. You need to let it go. <laughs> I'm kidding. What's up? That's just... Before, when I was little, what I wanted. I can't even get breakfast in the cafeteria without second-guessing myself. Yeah, I know that something happened to you. I don't know what, and you don't have to tell me, obviously, but something happened. In my experience, I just, you know, it can change a person, but it doesn't always have to be for the worse, you know? Maybe I'll tell you about it sometime. What are you doing tonight? If you're free, I mean, we can go to O'Shea's, grab a drink, you know? I mean, sometimes these things go down a little bit easier that way. That sounds nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hey. You ready? Can we get that drink another time? I, I have this thing I have to... I'll see you. Xanax and Jen got a pop as a result. The the cops look at the tape. Yeah, but I doubt it's gonna go anywhere. Are you kidding me? They should be able to see us out that thing six ways from Sunday. I mean, they took my statement. I could tell they thought I was making it up. Just like that stupid campus rent a cop. I know you're nervous. I saw you doing the finger thing. What is that anyway? My therapist wanted me to develop a self-soothing ritual. Something I could do that wouldn't draw a lot of attention. We weren't supposed to notice. You are catatonic. Really? Dude, I would be catatonic. Hiding under my bed, I went through a tenth of the things you have. You are a certifiable data. Absolutely. Badass, remember? Hi, we're here to pick up some records regarding one of the inmates.
Dakota. Hey, we can leave whenever we want to, all right? Just focus on me. It's just that I haven't been in the same building as him since I was rescued. It's another reason I didn't testify. It's a big building with lots of guards and guns. He had a gun. The night he took me. And Sita got up to go to the bathroom and the closet door opened and he was in there uh, pointing a gun right at me. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, and he told me that if I screamed or made any noise, he was going to kill my little sister. And that's when I knew he thought it was Sita. So, um, what'd you do? Um, you know, if he didn't know who my real family was, then he couldn't hurt them. We walked for a few blocks and then he blindfolded me and threw me in his truck and we drove around for um, hours. Then what, what happened? He came to visit me about three or four times a day. And then Minda came, um, which was better and worse at the same time. I wasn't alone anymore, but now he had two people to do horrible things to. I remember her at the trial. He abused us every day. <laughs> Not just physically, but psychologically. Um, we were gone. How much better their lives were without us. That we should be proud for sacrificing ourselves. Uh, he was protecting us, that he loved us. <laughs> and then he took Terry right off the street. Yeah, he uh, got crazier as he got older even possible. So we were planning an escape. I said it before, and I will say it again. Get incredible. And someday... It's only gotta get better from here, right? He came to see Weber. Well, it doesn't mention Weber's name specifically, but he facilitates a men's sexual offender support group right here at the prison. Because that's not creepy at all. Do you think this is enough evidence? Well, he admitted me to his advanced psych class. He singles me out all the time. There's Ella's disappearance. Would he have been able to track down where you live? My address would be in school records. I hate to say it, but it is adding up. He is a regular visitor to Kurt Weber's home away from home. And then there's that whole sexual impropriety thing. What do you want to do? We could go to the cops, but we don't have any real proof. But we could get some. You mean like a sting? blows my scoop. Why would I do that? So that's all I am to you, a scoop? I'm so sick of people using me. Dakota. Dakota. 
You told me. Yeah, what, what difference would it have made? It's my life. It was stupid to think I could just outrun it. Why don't we blow off class? All right, we'll grab that drink we talked about earlier and we can forget about everything. <laughs> what, and have everyone think I'm just like Ella? What are talking about? <laughs> You're nothing like Ella. Yeah, well, let's hope Campbell doesn't think so. What does that mean? He's the one that's been doing all this to me. Stalking me, threatening me. Okay, look, Dakota, I know that Campbell can be, like, kind of a lech. But that's a little bit beyond him, right? Well, who else would it be? I'm sorry, I know he's your mentor. I shouldn't have said anything. Look, you can talk to me, okay? I told you that. All right, I just realized what that sounded like, but it's, it's I swear it's not a come on, all right? I live, I live with my mom, actually. And, um, like, we have a spare bedroom. I'm gonna give this to you. It's my address, in case you ever need it, day or night. OK? Thanks, but I can just stay at Addie's. After she just sold you out and told the reporters about everything. I just feel like you need to be with somebody who's not going to cause more problems in the first place, somebody who can hey, protect Max, you. Max, I'm, I'm grateful, but I'm going to figure it out on my own. I don't need your protection, and I really don't want your pity. Oh. Now, about Campbell. For now, just keep going to class. All right. Shall we? Yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. Hello. Okay. The effects of from the reading, of course. <laughs> okay. Well, the brain as an organ is finely calibrated to detect danger part of its survival function. But exposure to trauma, especially prolonged or repeated or intimate trauma, can rewire those danger-seeking portions of the brain, thus causing it to wrongly perceive danger in every situation. Yes, Dakota. What if it's not wrong? How do you mean? Well, if danger really is all around you, then isn't your brain sending you the right signals? Well, I'm not sure that's a reasonable. Oh, really? Have you ever walked home at night with your keys between your fingers? It's enough. If you don't wound their pride, maybe they won't actually hurt you. Have you ever worried that what you're wearing might draw the wrong kind of attention, or, or worse, make people think that it was your fault? No, I haven't. Well, then, respectfully, Dr. Campbell, I don't think you know how dangerous the world really is. Did she miss another big study day? Look, in case you haven't noticed, she's got bigger things to worry about. I realize that, but I can help her. She can help herself. I think she's had enough male protection, don't you? I'm just worried about her. Hey, come on, you should be too. Have you talked to her? She says there's somebody out there trying to mess with her or torment her. Dakota has faced down monsters and survived. She's tougher than either of us. She needs help. She doesn't need her help.
はい Sorry, I um forgot something. It was 66F, 66F something. I can call the cops, if you want me to. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'd like to report an attempted hit and run. Sure. A lot, a lot. And I said some really dumb things to you and to other women too, because I didn't know and I didn't think, Gibson, and, not. and I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to not be such an entitled jerk. Hey. Addy. It was nice of the cops. Setting you up in a hotel. Local cops still don't believe me, but Detective Martin made a few calls. If Campbell got my... He found something. You may not want to know. No, tell me. It's okay, just tell me. Minda? I figured out why you couldn't find her. She's dead, isn't she? She killed herself a couple months ago. What about Campbell's records? Dakota, did you just hear I me? I did, Campbell's records. Jesus, at least give yourself I a can't. Minute. I need to nail this guy before he has the chance. No, you don't. And anyway, what if, what if we're wrong? What if it's somebody else? You're scared. Yes, I'm scared. Will they be making it worse? So this is my fault. No, obviously not, but you're not a cop. You're the victim. It's not on you to figure this out. I can't eat. I can't sleep. I hear footsteps when there's nobody there. The things I see when I close my eyes. Do you want to know why I'm not surprised about Minda? Because I get it. I get wanting a way to make this all stop for good. Dakota, please. What just... I need is to keep moving, keep going forward so I don't slide down into the same place. So you dated Dr. Campbell? We hung out, but I had to call it after a month. Had a reaction, you cut it off. I don't know, he was mopey, but not for long. The man is easily distracted. I mean, I knew we weren't serious, but come on, text him back, it's like a bare minimum. He wasn't possessive at all or controlling. I mean, he's a flirt, sure, but trying to build any kind of relationship with him, it's like good luck. But I don't know, maybe it was me, but it just always seemed like his mind was on something else or someone else. Why are you- Oh, just curious. Well, if you're curious to know if it's something you should invest in. I'm 
So did she move out? All her stuff's still here. Well, did you tell anyone? Did you call Ella's parents? We don't want to freak them out. And her rent's paid for the rest of the semester, so... Okay. Thanks. I'm helping Addie Johnson over at the school paper. Do you have a list of all the research grants that have been awarded to the department? Oh, great, thank you. Rose, 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 Rose. Hey, Rose. How are you? Couple things. Would it be too much trouble to ask you to email those PDFs again, expense report PDFs? Okay, and then the other thing is... Oh, one second. Polly. Thank you. I understand the relationship between the brain, uh, brain function, and psychology in relation to trauma, PTSD. I'd like to... Uh, I'd like to discuss and investigate some of the different therapeutic modalities used to treat PTSD, especially some of the latest ones, uh, such as neurofeedback, EMDR, which, for those of you who don't know, stands for Eye Movement Desensitization and Reprocessing. Thank you. Something stronger. Good with water. Excuse me. Gotta get your house bourbon on the rocks, please. So you've been a little tense and inattentive in class lately. I think it's been warranted. I understand, you know. I'm listening. Thank you, sir. I understand why you wanted to be in my class. And I also understand why you wouldn't want to talk about it, why you wanted to be in my class. Is that why you gave me special treatment? No. No, you're bright and you're intriguing. And you're very pretty. Because I'm of mine. Why would you feel defensive? Are you afraid, Dakota? I think some of that's my fault. What do you mean? When, uh, when Dr. Roy recommended you, he didn't tell me anything. So now I keep running back over my lectures. Your lectures? All I ever talk about is trauma. I go on and on about the worst things that could possibly happen to a person, and the whole time you, you just have to sit there. I mean, it's no wonder it was hard for you. And you want me to believe that you had no idea the entire time that Kurt never told you anything. I have no idea what you're doing. And you think that someone is me? Dakota, no. Yes, I do run a, a men's support group at the prison that is solely for the purpose of research for my writing. Kurt Weber has never attended a single meeting. So you're saying you haven't spoken to him once? Not once. And you just happen to specialize in what goes on in a predator's mind? I've read your journal articles, your book. You write like someone you know, with experience. Yes. You're right about that. That is not an accident. Uh, he was a... It was a long time ago, but it went on for years. You're a victim. Hmm. What about the lawsuit? You know about that. They were trying to raise the statute of limitations on abuse. I agreed to be a test case. 
and I thought maybe it would fix things. Of course, it didn't. So I started the support group. How can you stand to be in the same room with them, to, to talk to them? Well, you know the stats. You know that most offenders were victims themselves. So probably a way to get some distance, for me to intellectualize what I wasn't ready to feel. Unfortunately, Dakota, the world is not going to make exceptions for you. You're going to have to be strong. Don't be like Ella. Wait, what are you talking about? And she was in a very fragile place. And she told me about some unwanted attention she was getting from someone. So I told her to stand up to him, set boundaries. Instead, she just disappeared. She didn't say who it was? No. She just copied me on an email to the dean. That's disappointing. Listen, anyway, I'm sorry. And listen, if you're in real danger, the police should Oh, they're well aware. But I think I can handle it. I'll see you in class. Gonna be here. Addie told me. <laughs> you seem like really on edge, stressed. Yeah, I uh. And hey, maybe this will help you feel better. You know, ac actually, I'm gonna run to the ladies' room really quickly. <laughs> I can hold on to this till you get back. Watch it. I'm in O'Shea's, and Max is here. I think he followed me here, and I don't think, I don't think I'll drop that out of school. I think that he has her. I think he took her, and he's here, and, and I don't know how to get out. I can't find a way, and I can't, I can't. I just need you to call me back as soon as you get this, okay?
scared. I know he probably threatened you with false rescues. Ella? Ella? Ella, Max isn't here yet, but I don't know how much, how much time we have. Not as long as you think. Maybe we have all the time in the world. Kind of creepy. No, not until police get here. Like the water pitcher behind the bar. Max, you don't have to do this. I know. What about your mom? She'll, she'll be home soon. She's she order for the one there. She won't be interrupting us. You, you think she'd be okay with this? She'd be proud of you? That's why. Yeah, What is your thing then, Max? Why don't you tell me? Come on, please, Max. You keep doing this thing where you're repeating my name and it's not working. It's like Psych 101. You're gonna have to try something else. Only you can help me. Only you have the power to let me go. Power? It's all about the taking. How did you find out about Kurt Weber? I always enjoyed reading about the famous ones. And fantasizing about how they would do it. How I would do it even better than they did. What happened with Ella? Ella oh, was no good. She resisted. She fought you. She didn't obey. It's like Kurt said, sometimes they need to be trained. Max, what did you do? You're so much better than her. You're perfect. I knew from the moment I saw you. Hey, Rose, can you do me a huge favor? I'm supposed to drop something off to one of the grad assistants, and I lost the address. Max Peterson? Uh-huh. Oh, you're the best, Rose. Thank you. Give me his phone number two, would you? You used Cam. I wanted access and he had clearance. So once I got in, it was actually pretty easy to go back. He never even bothered to check. And the tiny about the airplanes? The videotapes? I didn't want to do that. Not at first. Why was you here with me right from the very beginning? But Kurt told her. 
each little reminder. Do you like the planes? The videotapes? See, Kurt knew that nothing would get to you more than little mementos of him, and he was right. The hit and run law that was completely improvised. I wanted a front row seat for myself. I think I did. Kurt was jealous. Why would he ever help you? Because you were his first. You were special. You never forget your first. Even from prison, you wanted to make sure you were getting the attention you deserve, and I was giving that to you, but you thought it was camp. Besides, he's attractive, like you said. He was a predatory professor, and you were the victimized student. You fell for that stupid cliche right from the very beginning. Stupid, you made me think I never even saw you Stop. coming. You made doing. me think it was Addie. Shut up. Do you want me to love you next? Do you want Shut me to love you? Up. Lay down! If you're a good little girl, I might even let you keep the bucket. What's up? Thank God you called. Okay, not what I was expecting. Have you, uh, have you heard from Dakota? I was, I was worried about her. I haven't heard from her. <laughs> it's weird. Okay, I, I ran into her at O'Shea's. Okay, but she's, like, she's acting really, really, like, really strange. <laughs> and then she thought it was you, and now she thinks it's me. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. What if she's having a psychotic break? Okay, this is the, think about it. She's been suffering years of abuse from that guy. I just, like, you know, I'm worried about her. We should call the police. Let them know anywhere she might go. Campus, my house, your house. No, um, look, Addie, I just, I think she's scared. Dakota, scared. not gonna do that he doesn't know what he's doing we're gonna get out of here we're gonna be safe okay i promise i promise you <laughs> right. pass this to me when i get up there okay ready one and if she shows up at your house you should be there right to make sure nothing happens to her Nearest person that you see, the nearest neighbor, whatever you can see, right? Okay? Uh, got it? Uh, but go ahead, give me your address just in case I need to come find you. Hello? Mac. Uh, just keep going and don't look back, all right? Don't you understand me? 
Some of you will uh, go on to do some research, you'll become clinicians or therapists, but none of you, no matter what you choose, should ever lose sight of the real human beings who are at the center of each case. And so without further ado, Hello, my name is Dakota Haggerty. Some of you probably already know who I am. I'm a survivor of repeated long-term trauma and as a result have complex PTSD. It's taken me a lot of work to get to where I am, where I can stand up here and talk to you guys about this. And I still have a long way to go, but I have a strong support system. And I know how important it is to let others know that they are not alone. 